guys, this is Jamie Lotulu, and I am here to do a video on my homemade altered composition old school back to high school planner. Um, I have, as you can see, I have one of those desk blotters. I cannot do the whole let's plan by a week, let's do a day. I have to see the whole month, so um, I never can find a planner that absolutely works for me. So I decided, well, you know what, I'm just going to go back to the old school of taking a composition book and doing it that way. So I took some um, asparagus paper from the asparagus pack, it's a Michaels pack, I guess, and I covered the front and back, and I did the wrap kind of cover. Then I put um, this cute, fun packing tape here. I love that. I got that from a dollar store or something like that. And then I used some... <clears throat> Excuse me. I used some um, diamond dyes trees. I love this dye. And it comes in three sizes. So I cut it out of blue paper because I wanted it to go like fall and winter. Um, so I cut it out of some blue paper. I did some inking around the edges in red. Then I glued it down and I went around it in blue. I think you can see that with a blue colored pencil. Then I put some um, <laughs> glitter glue on top. And then... I covered the whole thing in um, decoupage, collage podge. I put this metal piece on, let's see, metal piece, put some glitter glue here. You can see the skeleton leaves. And then I used another die cut and I put some glitter glue on it. And then so it's all put in there with the collage podge. So then when you go to the inside, <clears throat> I covered it again with some paper from that same stack. Then I had an envelope, so I put that in there. And then I made two very large tags to go in this envelope, just out of the leftover paper. So there's one of them. And I just had this piece, so I was like, eh, let's just cover it. And that is my whale punch. Oh my gosh, I'm stamping up. I got that in a swap from Lee Pogue. And then, so I have another tag of the paper with that whale punch on it. And it's actually two pockets. There's one back here, and then there's the inside. And then also what's in here is I did some writing with a couple of my classes at work. So I put those in there as well. I'll put that back later. And then I just skipped a couple pages glued them together, used that tab punch again, and then here is October. So yeah, I went way back old school. You see that? Hand drawn in lines and everything. <clears throat> because this this isn't a, your eight by whatever, eight and a half by 11 paper. It's slightly smaller. You know how composition notebooks are. So I just went through, measured out what I wanted, put that on there like that. And then I used some die cuts. So I got this. And I got these two die cuts in half and half. So I just inked that up. Put that on here because you know this is fall. And then I went through and just hand did all these things. Then I put some little notes. Like I had to finish this um, fiction journal I was doing. I need to restart Bible journey. I need to really go. And then, you know, some things that I had to do. And then I put this little Halloween sticker. And then I was start. So then I did the same thing. I glued some pages together. Like, like four. And then we have November's page. So, Nano is National Novel Writing Month. And I got a kit for my kids. So I have a little button here. That says, I know. And by now I should be like 20-something thousand. I have like not even a thousand words yet. I don't even know if I'm going to get this done. And then just the little notes, you know, put your little stuff in there, your little notes. Um, I still have some pieces from my last challenge to finish. And it's taken me forever to get that challenge done. <coughs> and I show novel writing month. I put in some typewriter stickers. I love old typewriters and I want one. Um, over here. It's the rest of the calendar. I put my little fat girl needing to work out. And Christmas break starts on the 18th. And you can see I have my Thanksgiving colored in orange. So that's awesome. 
I had to do a swap so this gets sent out and at somebody's address so I don't want to show that and then I just go through and put stuff in that I need to do okay then another really cute thing that I um I bought a dry erase pad from Hobby Lobby so I haven't used I hadn't used it yet and I was like I wonder if I could use this so I took a piece and I cut it up and originally I had it to cover the whole page and then it was just clipped on and then that was getting my nerves so I just made it smaller and you can see I have on it and I stapled it together so it's got a back and a front it's the same piece and I just have it stuck in here with a paper clip like this so like we're on Friday, so I would move it back over to this side, that kind of thing. And then this is what I used to write on it. An expo, I don't know if it wants to focus. One of these expo dry erase pens. It was in my drawer. And <laughs> you can see my little list of things to do. On tomorrow, which is Saturday, we have another mono print scope over on Periscope. <clears throat> okay, hold on. I got a letter taped in here. And then, so I liked this piece and this was a piece I had on that thing. So I just stuck that in there. Uh, I glued those pieces together. And then I put a page in here for projects complete. So this is all after November. So November's here, the calendar day. And then here, I just have extra pages until we get to December, which is back here. So I put projects completed and keep a log of projects. And I do a couple pages there. Then um, I did some handwriting pieces for Nano. So there's one, there's another. And, you know, just some other little things here. This is some November ideas, things I wanted to do for November. Um, or do, you know, crafting wise or whatever like that. Um, and I put a little paper clip. Then back here, I put this envelope and I put in receipts, so I glued it down so I can put in receipts for the month, and then there you go for that. And then I have December set up, so I got another little tab for December, glued some pages together, and look at it, doesn't it look so festive? It's so festive. I love it, it's so festive. So the bail punch, I had this stamp out, so I went ahead and put the little mittens on there. And then, of course, you guys know I had this Santa and Slain Reindeer uh, die cut, so I had to put that in there. I did, got these bows from these, this and that actually from the Dollar Tree. I put that in there, and there's Christmas. I had some little red and white candy cane looking like washi tape. Set it all up. I did it in red and green to honor the season. And I, uh, you know, I don't have much in here. <laughs> Uh, I do have a challenge, so December daily, <clears throat> anything goes, we are doing um, challenges all through the month of you know, uh, December for December daily, so I'm hosting one on the 19th, yay, so that's my Christmas one, and then um, here's my, my little, I put a pocket here for receipts. And I decorated it with the washi tape, two different kinds. Somebody sent me these and I was like, well, you know what, I can use these. And there's another little pocket here to just throw those receipts in. And then here's my little list for family. And then um, my YouTube friends and winter list. I haven't started that list yet. And then I have these extra pages and so <clears throat> I wanted to see if I could do a monthly planner like this where it was already done and I didn't have to do the dates. So I went to the Dollar Tree and I got one of their little cheap dollar ones that's a monthly view. And um, I had to hack it off. <laughs> you can see where I cut it to see if it would, you know, to get it to fit in here. So I think, you know, I'm going to try that for January and see if it works and decorate it like that. January and February and if I don't then I'll just go back to the old school so right now I just have it kind of clipped in so you can see that I just have it kind of clipped in um, mainly just to hold it there until January rolls around can you believe we're talking about January I mean I can have it <laughs> okay so this is what this month looks like so far and uh, yeah that is my handmade 
altered composition notebook planner because 